have great, uh, big, exciting wins for us. We're really happy about those. I think we uh, scheduled those games anticipating some good competition, and I was really happy to see the outcome for both of them. And I think they possibly scheduled those games thinking that it would be a little bit easier competition. So it's always uh, very fun when things like that happen. Uh, both of them, a game on Wednesday against St. Leo, we just we had the scouting report on them, knew what we had to do, and we executed it very well. Uh, the game on Friday against Tampa was a, a big defensive win. Uh, Jillian Pfeiffer came up huge. Olivia Hayden next to me had a ton of cause turnovers, draw controls. Um, and obviously Olivia put up a lot of points on the week for us last week, but uh, Friday's win against Tampa was a huge defensive win and really excited to see that unit come together that way. So we have Fort Lewis tomorrow, big uh, rival for us. Uh, we played them last year. It's always an aggressive game. Last year was the first year we beat them in program history, so we're really excited to uh, battle them tomorrow. It will be a battle. Uh, they always seem to play their best against us, and we play our best against them. Uh, so I'm excited to see that. They've been up back and forth with goalies a little bit, and uh, they did lose a lot of their key players. And fortunately enough, we didn't lose a ton of ours. So I, I believe on the offensive side, we just need to make sure that we could possess the ball, control the ball. And on the defensive side, we just got to create a lot of pressure for them. They're, they don't handle that real well. So, um, and then we see Pueblo, which is not a conference game. We already played our conference game against them. We played them Friday night at 7. Um, again, they, they're battling goalies right now. If we play the way we play them when we play them in March, we should have a, an okay time against them. And then we play Adams on Sunday, which um, Adams we played earlier in the season. We beat them 20 to 3. So uh, that we'll be able to get a lot of girls in on that game and be able to really move up the ball on the offensive side. Possession. Uh, possessing the ball is huge on, on, in lacrosse. It, it really is. And um, fortunately enough, like I said, our defense came up really big in our Tampa game, but we really need to focus on possessing the, board, the ball more on the offensive side and controlling the tempo of the game. Next year, we have a shot clock that's going to be implemented for 90 seconds. But this year, we don't. So we really need to possess that ball, control the tempo, tire them out a little bit, especially both those teams last week. They really pressured out on us hard. Uh, tiring them out, being able to take time um, holding that ball and being able to realize when we have that gap and that opportunity to go to cage. So that was big and, and really overall just working together as a team and as a unit, holding each other accountable on, on the field, and but in a positive fashion by just keeping each other positive, helping each other out, but saying, hey, make sure next time you see this opportunity, take it there. Uh, so that, that's the big things that we're really trying to focus on from last week into this week because we do have, again, three big games this week. Well, for me to be able to do that, I need my team behind me. Not all my goals were off of just me, myself. I had a lot of the people assist me. And in order to get the ball, we have to win it eventually on the defensive end. So ultimately, it was a huge team win. And I think we started to realize that we are much better than we thought we were and that we can compete with these teams that maybe they think we were out of their league and under them. But I think these wins really express that like we can do it and we can eventually, hopefully, win the title this year if we all work together like we have been. Definitely. It was a long trip <laughs> and a little stressful at the beginning, but to end it on two wins was good. And then to come back home knowing that we can have an opportunity to go 4-0 in the last two weeks really is a confidence booster for, I think, everyone. Definitely. I think we have a lot of individual talent. And at the beginning of the season, we've struggled to incorporate all of our talents together. But now we are starting to realize that we can rely on one another and work off of each other's own weaknesses and strengths in order to accomplish what our ultimate goal is.